All right. One last question before we, well, before we share just a couple of cool stuff found and then, and then get out of here. Uh, listener Jeff says, I've got a DS918 plus that I'm get, getting better at utilizing and starting to have significant items stored here. Being a network drive, it is not backing up to my Backblaze account. I'm curious about which types of backup I should be using to protect this data from loss. I know there are solutions that involve AWS. Backblaze does have a solution. I believe Synology has their own cloud backup solution. I'm normally a path of least resistance type of guy and default to integrated solutions when I can, but I'm not sure what the best option of this is. John, you want to take the answer? Are you backing up your Synology I know you're backing up your Synology. So d d tell people what you're doing. Yeah, so I'm I'm not doing it to the cloud though. I understood. Uh, what I do is I use hyper backup and take the contents of one NAS and copy it to the other because yep. I have enough space to do that. No, and hyper backup in terms of path of least resistance, I would agree that that's the, the, wherever you're going to back it up to, that's the place to start is hyper backup because it's right. it, built to do this yeah no i'm with you man yep um, um i'm not doing that though you're not using hyper backup well yeah i'm using hyper backup yeah. with my own drives with yeah with well, you you party you own your own cloud storage right like <laughs> yeah no that makes sense yeah yeah the if you don't own your own cloud storage my advice again based on path of least resistance would be to go with Synology c2 storage which jeff alluded to there i i do both i, I do what john does because i have an extra nas and then there is a subset of my data that I back up to a one terabyte store that I purchased at Synology C2. Again, just for, you know, just to have it not here, but like my, you know, whatever, 12 terabyte uh, Plex library, I'm not paying for cloud storage for that, but I definitely don't want to lose it. So, but what if we were, you know, Pete, you and I did this a long time ago with crash plan and we certainly could do it now. Hyper backup, using your solution john uh from one disk station to another does not require those two disk stations to be on the same local network so you, you know you could take that other disk station and put it at my house or at pete's house and now you have an off-site backup that you're not paying monthly or annual fees for unless pete or i charge you monthly or annual well, there's fees. that right there's here. that yeah. <laughs> hey there's income here you're free uh, i'm <laughs> i'm very eager to do something like that because yeah, yeah we were doing that before with our drobo boxes and then crash plan went to a, a money based in order to keep doing it, that or something yeah it, it just um, it stopped being the right solution for yeah, us for that too yeah bad. yeah and then but yeah there's nothing solution. You know, yeah. and then sorry jeff what was that and then it stopped being a solution and then it stopped being a solution i i do have an answer though that i'm gonna bring us into our cool stuff found segment where there are only two things uh, i promise we're we're almost finished here folks or at least we're hey, almost finished Dave, before, before you jump into that yeah uh aws was one of the options that was yeah. tossed out i'm gonna say don't don't with the aws because okay. for most people it turns into a brain damage situation and I would say that's a much better solution if uh, you're at uh, at like a much higher level in the business food chain. Got it. Um, yeah, p pick some other solution. Yeah, and, and there AWS. are lots. I, you know, you can back up using Hyper Backup. I think to Dropbox, you can back up to Google mm -hmm. Drive. Like the, it, there, are, it, just run Hyper Backup, and you will see all of the options, it, the ones we've mentioned, and lots, lots more. Uh, so check them. They change not not all too frequently, but they do. That list evolves. And I've found over the years, I've found some free solutions on there where it's like, oh, you get, you know, 10 gigs free. It's like, OK, I'll OK, pick, I'll pick 10 gigs of data and send it over there. Perfect. And you can do it securely and all that good stuff.